Memorial Day, 1984, and many dignitaries from around the nation, from around the world, with members of the United States Armed Forces, all assembled to recognize the unknown American. After spending almost 28 years in the military, I grew up in the military, lost a lot of friends in the line of duty, and so I remember, you know, Major uh, Gray Lowry, Zane, Zane Gray, uh, Rowdy Phillips, uh, Tilta Whirling, and J.J. Moore's folks I flew with that were mentors to me that we lost in the line of duty, so just remembering their sacrifices and everything they did for our country, and just, you know, the fingerprints they left everywhere uh, of goodness, so. We remember them all the time, and we were blessed to know all of them, but on Memorial Day, we really paused to pray for thanks for their service, and for comfort for their families who have persevered through horrible loss. We have a debt that's heavy, a debt that can't always be repaid. Given the ultimate sacrifice. And so as a nation, Memorial Day is the day that family and friends come out and remember not only those near them, but those from 150 years who have served this country so well. My uncle, Charlie Lynn, who was a member of the Thunderbirds, who was killed with him. When I think of Memorial Day, I think of my grandparents, uh, World War II veterans, both grandfathers served in World War II. On Memorial Day, I honor my husband, Philippe, who was in Civil Air Patrol and a, a paratrooper in the 82nd Air Force. A fellow by the name of Lance uh, Sijin, who graduated from the academy 10 years before me. Uh, he uh, was shot down in uh, North, over North Vietnam. Uh, he was horribly injured but for 46 days he crawled through the jungle and avoided capture. He was finally captured. Uh, even then, in his emaciated state, he overcame a guard and escaped again. Captured again, tortured horribly, but he was what's called a total resistor. Never gave up any information. Died of his injuries in captivity. Awarded the Medal of Honor. A warrior is buried in a peaceful spot surrounded by beautiful lush trees and grass. Captain Michael Blasey, a war hero, an airman in the United States of America, at home, at rest.